welcome to the Lack of Content Show, also known as Episode 3, where we try to make four minutes of actual content seem very interesting. Well, we hope. Let's address the elephant in the room, or the large spiky round thing with a lot of antigens on it, that is the coronavirus. It has been very hard for us in the past year, and there have been times when we got to come back to school, and times when we had to conference into our lessons. Lives has been lost, and first responders all around the world had to risk their lives to save others. We all have to be patient and practice good personal hygiene. Yes, video calling and online classrooms can be very annoying. Um, we can't even film together because of social distancing rules. On the bright side, we got to see the incredible courage and unity humans have. Let's look back at something that was worth talking about. Yang 而同年在印度种植的基因改造物质to budgetary concerns and uh, COVID restrictions, this segment will consist of me, a pen, a green screen, and this piece of paper. So, yeah, about that. Well, the Parent Teacher Association, where parents and teachers associate, apparently, in talks and presentations. Well, I guess we'll have to look at the PTA inauguration ceremony. Well, at least that's what I assume you'll be looking at if you keep playing the video. So. So, hi guys, 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, so today we're here with two uh, wonderful seniors, uh, and they will talk about their experiences with learning uh, a, another language. I'm Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Harry. Yes, and they're both us uh, in twelfth grade, so they're your seniors. Now, first question: Which language do you speak, and why did you learn these languages? Matthew first. Um, I speak Cantonese. I speak English, Mandarin, and German. So I speak Cantonese, English, Japanese, and Mandarin. Okay, and uh, what are some benefits of learning many languages? It has made me more adaptable to the city because Hong Kong is an international city with different languages. If you really like Japanese culture, then uh, yeah, you really have to learn Japanese because Japanese can, uh, yeah, a language can help you understand the culture of the country. I can watch anime without subtitles. Uh, I like that feeling of being able to understand part of the culture. And now, uh, talk about benefits, let's move to uh, difficulties. Uh, Haru, what are some difficulties you face when learning another language though? I think uh, the most difficult thing is that you have to um, switch the mindset when you talk different languages. So you have to be aware of the manner uh, while you are talking in Japanese. <laughs> How about you? Uh, for German, is for the difficult part is the grammar thing, which you can memorize in my heart, and there's a tons of them you need to memorize in all of them. I think the most difficult part is the pronunciation and intonation. It's very difficult for me to pronounce these at the early stage. Mm. So, and lastly. Um, we'll start with Haru again. Do you have any advice for people that want to learn another language? Uh, first thing that you have to not be shy and talk more in, use more in daily life. Find an aspect that you like and you try to learn from them. Like just Haru say, I mean, in any way, you can learn Japanese. For German, for uh, guys, maybe um, cars. It's very important to immerse into the environment. You can um, watch movies, dramas to improve our pronunciation and intonation skills. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much, Seth. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Cool. All right. That's it. See ya.